ಎಮ್ಮಿನಾವ್ಯತ ಎಂತೇತೆ ಪುರುಷಂ ಪುರುಷರ್ಷಭಾ ಸಮ ದುಃಖ ಸುಖಂ ಧೀರಂ ಸೋಮೃತತ್ವಾಯ ಕಲ್ಪತೆ ಓ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅಮಂಗ್ ಮೆನ್ ಅರ್ಜುನ ದ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟರ್ಬ್ ಬೈ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿನೆಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರೆಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಇನ್ ಬೋತ್ ಈಸ್ ಸರ್ಟನ್ಲಿ ಎಲಿಜಿಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಲಿಬರೇಷನ್ ಪರ್ಪಟ್ ಎನಿ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಇನ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಟರ್ಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಅಡ್ವಾನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುವಲ್ ರಿಯಲೈಸೇಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಈಕ್ವಲಿ ಟಾಲರೇಟ್ ದ ಆನ್ ಸ್ಲಾಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರೆಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿನೆಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸರ್ಟನ್ಲಿ ಎ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಎಲಿಜಿಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಲಿಬರೇಷನ್ in the varnashrama institution the fourth stage of life namely the renounced order is a pain sticking situation but one who is serious about making his life perfect surely adopts the sanyasa order of life in spite of all difficulties the difficulties usually arise from having to sever family relationships to give up the connection of wife and children but anyone if anyone is able to tolerate such difficulties surely his path to spiritual realization is complete similarly in arjuna's discharge of duties as a kshatriya is advised to persevere even if it is difficult to fight with his family members or similarly beloved persons lord chaitanya took sanyas at the age of 24 and his dependents young wife as well as old mother had no one else to look after them yet for a higher cause he took sanyas and was steady in the discharge of higher duties <clears throat> that is the way of achieving liberation from material bondage hmm interesting okay so first uh, in this verse krishna is previous verse krishna said tolerate hmm why tolerate what is the use of tolerate tolerating why should one go through so much of difficulty because one who tolerates and is not disturbed and is steady in both he certainly becomes eligible for liberation so it is not some ordinary uh, some, some ordinary goal that we will achieve or ordinary stage that we will achieve we will actually become eligible for liberation so it's not it's a very important thing and it's very difficult to achieve and that is why the result or the fruit of achieving that state is, is that we become eligible for liberation and the propad here is very clearly saying one is steady in his determination and this is very important right first of all we have to become determined uh, why we have to become determined because there will be onslaughts of distress and happiness because we are in this material world we have a material body so we have to go through distress and happiness if we expect only smooth sailing mm, that don't be like that also because krishna wants to train us in being tolerant mm. so either of course i mean possibly most people will have their own karmic distress and happiness if suppose it's not there then krishna will put us into situation such that we actually become trained to tolerate and for us to be tolerate to tolerant we should be determined steady in our determination the re determination for what for advanced stage of spiritual realization advanced stage means here uh, is liberation no liberation for us is not the ultimate uh, so we have to go beyond that hmm? brahma bhuta is liberation brahma bhuta prasanna atmana sochati na kankshati samas sarveshu bhuteshu mat bhaktim labate param but first we have to reach this moksha the stage of liberation where we are completely that means that we are completely disconnected from this body actually if we don't get disconnected from this body we cannot how can we achieve bhakti mm, very important but of course the interesting thing in krishna consciousness is we don't take the renunciation route we take the attachment to krishna route the more we are attached to krishna the more we should re- see ourselves becoming more and more tolerant to distress and happiness and becoming that way you know uh, not free from attachment <clears throat> to material things the more we are attached to krishna the more we will be uh, detached from material things and the final test is our body mm. we may 
maybe you know can get over all other uh, attachments to the body uh, to relate to material material attachments like you know maybe money sense gratification etc etc right but when it comes to body that is the final uh detachment we have to develop because eventually we have to we will have to leave this body <clears throat> so to go through all this we have to go through all this right so for which we have to be steady in our determination to make progress and we should also equally tolerate the onslaughts hmm um so similarly in our arjuna's discharge of duties as a kshatriya is advised to persevere same like you know we have duties to perform we have bhakti to perform we have to persevere uh, yeah um, lord chaitanya took sanyas and his yeah, dependents had no one else to look after yet for a higher cause he took sanyas so we may not you know we may not yet talk about sanyas but the whole point is that for a higher cause which is to achieve uh, not a sweet of the lord to um, discharge loving devotional service which that is a higher cause right so we should not get stuck in lower causes of course we should not break out of dharma as much as possible but uh if anything is pre- holding us back from making progress then we have to break out of it like chaitanya mahaprabhu showed by his example that he though they were dependents had nobody to take care of nobody else to take care of so but still he took it up for a higher cause hmm. so we are also engaged in a higher cause and that is a prabhupada is saying that is a way of achieving liberation from material bondage that means for a higher cause we should you know make sure that we don't get stuck with lower causes we don't have to necessarily break out of uh, material relationships or anything like that but uh, if anything is preventing us from progressing further then we have to figure out what to do and of course that is when such important decisions have to be t- taken in consultation with guru we should not be taking independent decisions in such cases hmm very important this okay any thoughts so, all happy so, so hmm. what is the summary of this verse like uh, there are a lot of important points right uh, yes like yeah, for, some uh, mm. yeah as a practical uh, application yeah like, so we have to tolerate so actually two three things come out one is that we have to be determined in practicing in wanting to achieve higher stages in bhakti number one we have to be determined uh, second is for a higher cause we should be willing to give up lower causes third third is that uh, we should tolerate distress and happiness yeah. so these these are the three points yeah and the thinking behind the tolerating happiness and distress is that uh, this is inevitable because it's a cycle in the earlier verses yeah right so it's, it's a like- cycle yeah it's a cycle and more importantly we are attached to this body that is why this distress and happiness and all we are experiencing yeah so though theoretically we know that we are not this body we are spirit soul we are not living on the platform so this practice will make us live on the platform that okay i am not this body so why am i getting to so worked up about this yeah correct actually this is very important this whole tolerance business we if you look, look at our own practice right we we become so intolerant right uh, everything still even after coming to bhakti things have to happen the way we expect isn't it yeah how many of us here are ready to i mean with whatever comes in our life like we don't care right we should reach that state saying that you know focus is krishna consciousness whatever else comes if it is anukuliyasya 
then you accept if it is pratikula then reject yeah and especially with this body and mind we are so stuck with this body and mind the mind and those who are having trouble with the body they know how difficult it is those who are trapping with the mind they know how difficult it is and mind inevitably i mean somebody who has problems with body also normally has problems with mind so and all this reflects in the way in our chanting right so basically we can we can very clearly understand saying that we are far from so even liberation forget about bhakti bhakti only starts when we are in liberated stage Hmm. It's very important, actually, to to practice this. Right, every opportunity we should see. Okay, am I was I tolerant? Did I lose my patience? Did I become upset? Was I frustrated? What negative emotions am I experiencing? Right, and keep uh, reminding ourselves, saying that hey, these are all related to the body. Why are you so excited about all this? Just ignore. Moan, focus on Krishna consciousness. Yeah. Hmm. Important. Okay. Hare Krishna, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Uh, you mentioned that you know Krishna sometimes puts us in situations so that we can learn tolerance in difficult situation. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Uh, so, so the difficult situation is to the extent that we can tolerate. Right. <laughs> <laughs> how, how... Krishna yeah, knows. Yeah, I mean, like Krishna, Krishna, Krishna knows that Krishna will never would want us to be. He will never want. Of course, okay. So the first thing is that this is a very exalted stage. Okay, this doesn't happen to every devotee. Hmm. Mm, Krishna getting involved because we have sufficient karma pala uh, <laughs> for our entertainment. Um, but uh, the point is that uh, even sometimes you know our karma phala might be very intense but still krishna will kind of moderate it so that we don't do stack of bhakti um so that that is there and yeah i mean see the whole the whole point here is that krishna wants us to become fixed in bhakti so he will not do anything which will make us break break down okay i mean even like i said even if we have that is why right i mean propat says right one who is a devotee always looks at problem saying that oh i got it is so small like uh, krishna has reduced it mm. for me right and yeah i mean devotees also experience this that uh, could have been much bigger but it just like scratch right so krishna takes care to the extent that we learn from it and but at the same time uh, it doesn't become so difficult that you know we completely lose track Right. Okay, Madhuri Madhuri is asking: Do women also renounce from her from their duties in Vana Prastha? Yes, Vana Prastha means no material responsibilities. Generally, yeah, even Mataji's uh, both Prabhu and Mataji's uh, Mataji travel uh, to pilgrimage, and then you know, stay in a temple setting, stay in a dam, whatever extent, um, give up. all duties as in cooking mainly because uh, be traveling etc so whenever it is required that service then it will be done as a service because there is a husband husband is also devotee so prasadam providing prasadam will be a service um but uh, preference is not given to material duties preference is given to devotional activities so for example say if it's a ekadashi and you know some but he wants to do 64 rounds and no time for cooking then you know maybe eat fruits right or whatever right so uh, point is focus is on uh, is on bhakti and not so much on uh, duties and duties are what duty should be limited to only husband and wife between husband and wife whatever is required not uh children grandchildren all that anyway has to be renounced everybody has to man also has to renounce and women also has to renounce right at the that one approach okay yanu prabhu you are saying something no prajim okay 